In this video, I'm going to be doing a full review of Google's Project Fi, a cell carrier that uses a combination of the Sprint and T-Mobile networks to provide coverage at an affordable price. Project Fi is interesting for three main reasons, its phone, its coverage, and its price. Project Fi requires you to use either the Nexus 6, the Nexus 6P, or the Nexus 5X. This is because these phones have the technology to automatically switch between the T-Mobile and Sprint networks, which again is what Project Fi uses to provide coverage. For my testing, I use the Nexus 5X. The price is interesting because Google refunds you for any of your unused data. The way it works is you prepay for your plan, $20 a month for unlimited talk and text, plus an additional $10 per gigabyte of data. And then at the end of the month, you receive money back for all of your unused data. For example, if you buy one gig of data for $10, but only use half of that allotment, you will receive $5 back from Google. Data speeds were excellent, and you can share your cellular data via the hotspot feature. If you want, you can also order a data-only SIM card to be used on the Fi network from your online account. Your online account gives you a clean overview of your current usage, your plan settings, your payment method, your call and text settings, and your account settings. The current cycle graphic gives you a nice overview of your current billing period and your data usage. Your plan tab gives you info about your current plan, your device and phone number, and offers some international features. From this page, you can manage the amount of data in your plan, rename your device and order device protection, order a data-only SIM card for free, buy a new device, and pause or cancel your service at any time. The payment method tab simply lets you manage the card you use to auto-pay for your plan. From the call and text settings, you can view all of your previous calls and texts, listen to your greeting, and add a call forwarding number. And finally, from your account settings, you can change your service address, change your alert preferences, and change your privacy settings. The website design is clean, simple, and informative, and you can also view all of this information from the Project Fi application on your device. You can also use your device to set a data limit and a data warning to make sure you do not go over your data allotment. Something else cool about Project Fi is that it puts your Google Voice number onto a SIM card. I already made a video explaining Google Voice and Hangouts, which you can watch by clicking the little I button or the link in the video description, but this is really awesome because it allows you to make phone calls and send texts over Wi-Fi. So when you have Project Fi, you will get coverage anywhere there is Sprint coverage, anywhere there is T-Mobile coverage, and anywhere you have Wi-Fi connection. Project Fi's integration with Google Voice also allows you to use Hangouts as your default messaging application. Hangouts will sync all your messages across all of your devices, and it will also automatically transcribe voicemails into text. Again, consider checking out my full review of Google Voice and Hangouts for an in-depth look at all of the features. So at the end of the day, Project Fi is an incredibly amazing cell service at a very affordable price. Alone, Sprint and T-Mobile definitely have weaker coverage areas, but combined, they can easily rival the coverage of Verizon or AT&T. With strong coverage and affordable plans, the biggest limiting factor of Project Fi comes down to the phone selection. If you don't like the Nexus lineup, then you're out of luck. However, if you like the Nexus 6, 6P, or 5X, or if you already have one of those phones, then you should definitely consider Project Fi. Existing Sprint and T-Mobile customers should also consider Project Fi because by switching, you will increase your coverage area while still being able to pay an affordable price on cell service. So how do you sign up for Project Fi? Well, the sign up process is very simple and very easy. Simply go to fi.google.com slash sign up and select the Google account you would like to use. Enter your zip code and then choose to either bring your Google voice number to Project Fi or get assigned a new number and lose your Google Voice number forever. I personally recommend you bring over your Google Voice number. Keep in mind that you will have to port your number to Project Fi when you get your SIM card and activate your service, which means there will be about a 24 hour period where you will not be able to send or receive phone calls or texts. Next, select the plan you want. I selected the two gigabyte plan here and the total came to $44.02 after all taxes and fees. You can then choose which device you want, or you can select to order a SIM card for free if you already have a device. And that's pretty much it. You place your order, enter your shipping and billing information, and then Google will send out everything you ordered. How you complete your setup process may be a little different depending on what you ordered, but all I had to do was insert my SIM card into my Nexus 5X 
and go to the Project Fi application to get everything set up and working properly. So that concludes this review. Again, Project Fi is an amazing service with excellent coverage, affordable pricing, and some of the best Android devices out there. I had a very positive experience on the Fi network, and I would hands down recommend it to anyone with a Nexus device or anyone on the Sprint and T-Mobile network. Feel free to share this video with your friends and family to let them know how awesome Project Fi is, and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson Doggett, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.